How to remove and refit the Brompton T-Line wheels. To perform this job, you'll need a torque wrench and a 5mm hex key. When fitting or removing the rear wheel, change the gear to the small sprocket, gear 4. To remove the rear wheel, ideally place the bike in a stand. Before removing the rear wheel, the chain tensioner has to be disengaged from the chain. Pull the chain tensioner arm forward and remove the chain from the idler wheel. Use a 5mm hex key to loosen the skewer. Once loosened, hold the skewer nut in place to prevent it from spinning. Then completely remove the skewer. For the wheel to pass the brake caliper, the tyre has to be deflated. The wheel can now be guided out. Fitting the rear wheel. When fitting the rear wheel, guide the wheel in place, ensuring that the chain is correctly seated on the cassette. Once the wheel is seated in place, insert the skewer. Tighten the skewer bolt to 7 newton meters. The chain tensioner can now be engaged onto the chain. Inflate your tyre to the recommended pressure on the tyre sidewall. Removing the front wheel. To remove the front wheel, use a 5mm hex key to loosen the skewer. Once loosened, hold the skewer nut in place to prevent it from spinning. Then completely remove the skewer. For the wheel to pass the brake caliper, the tyre has to be deflated. The wheel can now be guided out. Fitting the front wheel. When fitting the front wheel, guide the wheel into place. Once the wheel is seated in place, insert the skewer, the drive side fork, the hub and out the non-drive side fork. Align the fork hook on the fork so that the raised tab on the fork hook fits into the corresponding fork hole. Thread the skewer into the fork hook with a 5mm hex key. Then using the torque wrench and a 5mm hex key attachment, tighten the skewer bolt to 7 newton meters. 